Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bono Podcast, and we've got a little bit of Dungeon Bowl news for you today. So there is an article on the Warhammer community, Five Ways Dungeon Bowl Totally Shakes Up the Game of Blood Bowl. Now, there really isn't any information in there that we don't already know about how the game plays, and, uh, you know, that there's going to be teleporters and things like that. We already knew that, but there is one big reveal in there, and that is how the teams are structured. And in the article today, there are two colleges whose rosters have been shown. We've got the College of Beasts, and the undead college as well the college of death so we'll have a quick look at both of them now because this gives us a really good breakdown of what the teams are going to be like before this point we didn't know whether it was just hey guys here's a list of teams go nuts but it doesn't look like it's going to be like that at all it looks like it's going to be custom rosters made from different players from different teams for different colleges so the college of beasts it listed this team this team this team it listed what did it list it listed chaos necromantic uh nurgle corn and skaven and that's quite a powerful mix but actually that's not how it works so let's take the college of beasts as a as a kind of beginning point here so the college of beasts has got linemen 0 to 16 beastmen runners so beastmen are the linemen for this team now what they've done is they've broken down this is a really bad example actually but they've broken down every team into player archetypes okay very much like we've done here on the show there's linemen there's runners there's blitzers there's blockers and there's big guys so this very much harkens back to kind of old school dungeon bowl and how you would build a mixed team so i absolutely love that fact so here we go college of beasts the linemen are beastmen from the chaos team the runners are werewolves from the werewolf team also known as necromantic blitzers you've got pestigors and corn gores blockers you've got chaos chosen blockers and big guys minotaur croxagore rat ogre and bloodspawn so within each of those groups there is a positional limit 0 to x so runners 0 to 2 werewolf blitzers 0 to 4 pestigors corn gores now what we don't know at the moment is whether or not that's going to be further limited by the positionals so uh, they've got blockers 0 to 4 chaos chosen blockers and they've got big guys 0 to 3 minotaur croxagore rat ogre and bloodspawn now what we don't know is whether or not it's going to be 0 to 3 of any of those but they are all also 0 to 1 in their rosters i don't think that's how it's going to be here because i think you can pick from these boxes and have up to four blitzers and they can be pestigors or corn gores you can have four of each you know four you can have four of one but none of the other you can have two of each or you can split it three one basically a maximum of four blitzers from that roster which means the college of beasts could be running a three minotaur team which is just phenomenal now honestly if you're looking at that roster um the big guys if you are looking to take three big guys in a roster three blood spawn is probably the best way to go rat ogres are going to be great because they've got prehensile tail and in a tunnel environment you're going to have that strength five frenzy mighty blow and prehensile tail is going to stop them dodging away that is going to be massively useful but i do like the blood spawn here because you are fighting in tunnels and there's going to be lots of close-knit combat and when you think about building a roster for corridors for holding positions what you want is strength not necessarily movement and what's the best thing to beat a heavy team an even heavier big guy and the blood spawn with claws and frenzy and mighty blow is a bit of a player deleter strength five frenzy and then with both the armor skills it is the best position all to take out other positions it's the best player it's the player is best positioned to remove other players so the blood spawn kind of comes in and, and is your is your rock to throw up anything else in the rock paper scissors situation so college of beasts beastmen runners as the linemen not to werewolves not to four pestigors or corn gores not to four chaos chosen blockers and not to three minotaur crocs rat ogre blood spawn mixed that is a heavy hitting team and we've also had a look now at the college of death roster which is very interesting so linemen they've got 0 to 16 skeleton linemen and zombie linemen so that's exactly basic and that makes sense because there's only two teams being mixed here runners 0 to 4 ghoul runners blitzers 0 to 4 wraiths and white blitzers and this is another one of those where actually is it 0 to 4 or is it 0 to 2 because these guys here are both 0 to 2 positionals and if they're expanding on that and you in your dungeon bowl college of death team roster you can take 0 to 4 white blitzers that could be great and that's exactly how i think this is going to play out and the reason i think that is because blockers 0 to 4 blockers 
flesh golems. Flesh golems in the werewolf... <laughs> I keep calling it the werewolf team. It's not. In the necromantic team are 0 to 2. So I think that these rosters and the way these rosters come together are going to allow you to take more of that positional than you would normally take, which is fantastic for the beast team because you can go real big on some real beautiful monsters here three rad ogres in a tunnel this is going to be some proper cage fighting and um this team here also gets naught to two mummies as the big guy option so we've got a roster here that can have four ghouls four white blitzers four golems and two mummies so and this is where we're going to see that kind of tunnel fighting element as well two mummies four flesh golems that is a ton of strength you back that up with a couple of white blitzers maybe a ghoul runner you could be in with a really strong team that is going to be able to use that stand firm from the golems and the strength five mighty blow of the mummies and no nega traits to just maximize that three squares of movement. This team is looking pretty slow, but very, very potent. Now, this brings in one other thing that I had uh, kind of thought through when I read this article, and that is the fact that this roster here which is both the death teams together, has no werewolves, where the werewolves appear in the beast roster on the other side. So they've split these rosters down. You're not going to be able to take uh, a whole Skaven roster mixed with this other team. So we've only got these two colleges so far. I've already started brewing up some lovely lists, even though we don't know how much rerolls are going to be. My money's on 50k because that's how it used to be and uh, probably a million build but we don't know if every positional is going to feature because if you look at the breakdown of teams there are some teams that feature only once so dwarves are only in there one time goblins are only in there one time are we going to see all of the positionals available or are we going to see some positionals missing out and that makes me very worried because i want chainsaws in dungeon bowl i think you can't not have chainsaws in dungeon bowl although it might be a way for them to get around the ball and chain in a dungeon bowl situation because i don't know how that's going to work we did a we did some we did some blood bowl rpg in fact the streams on the youtube somewhere um and uh, we had to kind of figure out how a ball and chain would work in a dungeon environment because we did some dungeon bowl it was wicked so college of death Skeletons and zombies as linemen make sense. Ghoul runners as runners make sense. Blitzers, you've got wraiths and you've got the white blitzers. I can't imagine we're going to see a lot of wraiths. Um, that edge 3 plus for the white blitzer is just so useful, being that they have hands. Uh, flesh golems and mummies is an absolutely beast of a roster, as is the entire College of Beasts team roster. So beastman as the linemen works brilliantly in a chaos chaos roster um so when you look at this one they've got werewolves you've got pestigors and you've got um corn gores as the kind of core of this team now pestigors and corn gores are used as runners in their respective rosters so the fact that they count as um as the blitzers in this roster is interesting because this one immediately you can flag up in fact you've got no combat skills here at all and you know what it's the college of beasts this one's about strength and fury and it makes a lot of sense everybody having horns or frenzy is basically massive now the chaos chosen blockers is an interesting one because uh, i think someone's already commented saying how does that work why are they beastly and i have a theory for this and this is kind of what it ties together chaos appear in two different rosters they appear in fire and they appear in beasts and i don't know whether that ties in because if you look at the beast roster here every positional from the chaos roster is here right you've got the beastman you've got the chaos chosen blockers and you've got a minotaur so where the werewolf doesn't feature in the undead roster but features in the beast roster i thought maybe um they're going to be there's going to be some limitation when it comes to uh the amount of rosters a positional can take part in okay i thought actually you know what that's not it's not completely unrealistic that would make sense actually what they're going to do is take these teams that appear in multiple rosters and spread them out doesn't look to be the case because if they are going to include chaos in the fire roster then we're going to see at least one duplicate and the fact the fire roster has a massive array of teams as well. So uh, fire, dwarf, ogre, corn and chaos. I mean, what are we going to see there? We're going to have to see surely the whole dwarf roster, uh, the whole ogre roster. They, maybe they won't include the punter. I imagine that they will. And then when it comes to corn, what are we going to see? Are we going to see just the linemen? Uh, are we going to see the seekers? And when it comes to chaos, the fact is we've already got chaos chosen blockers here. Are we going to see that? Or is this just that corn and chaos are involved in the fire roster so that you can include the bloodspawn and the minotaur? 
to add that extra punch because dude a dwarf team with 0 to 3 minotaurs is a team i'm very much on board with because i have got a ton of different death roller models and no good reason to use them yes i know dwarf players i know i know i know i'm sorry but if I get to use it as a Minotaur, I'm going to use it as a Minotaur. And that is just going to generate some really clever rosters. So we are about a week out before we get the book. Before we start seeing exactly how you can brew up these rosters. But do not fear, as soon as we've got the full build rules, we will have videos out for the rosters. Uh, because this is going to be some insanely fun Blood Bowl building time. Anyway, do let me know what you think of the way the colleges are, are factored out and the mix of teams because there's some stuff in there. There's going to be some rosters that miss out. I'm assuming that gutter runners are going to be okay. You know, I, I don't want to play it. I don't want to play Blood Bowl if there's not going to be gutter runners because uh, everybody needs someone to hate. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy Dungeoneering. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to help support the channel even further, please like and subscribe or come join us on our Patreon. We have early access to content. We get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can. Or you can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking.